presentation. So yeah, it's a good question, Marvin. Um, so just to give you a little bit of background about me, and, and we'll dig right in. Uh, my name is James Cosman. I'm the founder and chief solution architect uh, at Vail Tech. Um, that's the name of my company. Um, I started my career primarily in uh, quality assurance and business process consulting. So um, I'm probably going to hit pretty heavily um, on business process, that sort of thing. And I, uh, I can't really help it. That's kind of the way that I think. But that's where I started my world. And that's actually how I discovered QuickBase. Um, I've spent uh, the last three years um, probably head deep in the QuickBase world and in QuickBase itself and helping um, both small businesses and then also the world's leading companies help kind of realize the power of, of, of QuickBase and other cloud technologies, primarily through training, implementations of applications, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Enough about me. What we're going to talk about today is um, I'm going to start just kind of giving a high-level overview of you hear everybody talking about cloud computing. What is cloud computing? Um, I think it'd be good for us to kind of just step back and, and look at maybe what that is. I'm going to spend very little time on that. Um, though, what is QuickBase? Um, then we'll get into some actual case studies and some demos. Um, and hopefully through those, you'll start to, to see some of the power. And then we'll talk a little bit about how, there might, how QuickBase might be able to be used either for your own business or as a new revenue source for your business. Um, and then I'll kind of summarize some stuff. And then I'm going to open up for questions uh, from there. So um, should be pretty simple. Um, I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of slides. We're going to kind of really dig in deep. Um, and look at QuickBase and, and, and what it is um, pretty quickly here. But just a step back, um, whenever, you think, whenever you think QuickBase, you should think of cloud computing. And um, actually, to tell you the truth, people in the industry um, themselves have a difficult time um, defining exactly what cloud computing is. Um, I'm going to kind of keep it simple here. Um, whenever you're talking about cloud computing, you're talking about um, applications that exist and hard that exist on hardware um, that exist elsewhere that other people are sharing the resources of that hardware um, and so in layman's terms um, you may have a quick base application where um, that's hosted in one place or in the case of quick base they actually have multiple data centers they're hosted in the quote unquote cloud or remote d data centers where you have somebody in the US who's accessing that application uh, at the same time, you have somebody else in China who's accessing the exact same application. And, um, you know, and then you could have somebody from the great state of Texas um, also accessing that application. Same application, um, same software, um, just delivered, uh, just all handled remotely. So in other words, um, the four characteristics of cloud offerings is typically... Um, the Internet is a primary method of access. So whenever we're talking about QuickBase, whenever we're talking about cloud computing, um, we are talking about um, applications that are essentially accessed over the, app, over the Internet. And, and I'll show that and, and kind of bring that home when we get into QuickBase. Um, you don't pay for hardware, meaning that um, when, you, when a, any sort of cloud application is developed, you're not purchasing hardware to run that application, et cetera. Um, the other big thing is you pay for what you use. So what that means is um, you typically, it's not like when you go to Office Depot and you buy Microsoft Office. It's you may pay monthly, you may pay a monthly fee to access the application via the cloud or via the Internet, whatever your application is. And you don't maintain the hardware, meaning that in order to run cloud applications, you're not doing anything like uh, having a server at your local office that runs the application and that you have to maintain that server. It's all done in remote data centers. So I'm going to try to get out of the weeds a little bit here. Um, so that leads us exactly into, you know, what is QuickBase? What does QuickBase do? I put this slide up always whenever I do a presentation as a joke because when I start talking about QuickBase as a PaaS, and we should have some Intuit people on this call, um, that's actually the worst way to, to lead with talking about QuickBase is to say, hey, it's a platform as a service, but I thought this was a pretty funny definition. But I'll tell you what it means afterwards because I'm not really sure um, exactly what it means, but this is how the U.S. government defines platform as a service. As a capability provided... Um,
Um, I'll answer that, uh, Marvin, at the end. Um, so the capability. So essentially, it is the capability provided to the consumer is to okay. So uh, first of all, that's a government typo. Uh, to deploy onto the cloud infrastructure consumer created or acquired applications created using programming languages, libraries, services, and tools supported by the provider. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense, huh? Not really. I don't know what that means, actually. To put it simply, this is what QuickBase is. I'll use an analogy. QuickBase is a blank cap canvas, meaning that it, essentially all that it is is it's an online database. Um, that can then be used, or a platform, as you wish, a blank canvas, that can then be used um, to develop um, an application custom to your business and delivered over the internet. Um, so it's a blank canvas. Um, there is a lot of um, kind of boilerplate, quick base applications that manage project management or timekeeping. We'll kind of dig into those um, that people have pre-made. But essentially, you can build an application as an end user without any coding skills whatsoever. You can build a, an application custom to a business or to your client's businesses uh, from the ground up. Um, so the business process is your inspiration. So whenever you're building QuickBase applications, you think, what is the business process that I'm problem I'm trying to solve? Um, and how can QuickBase help me solve that business problem? And your developers, your artists, whether if you're hiring an outsourced developer or you're hiring a developer, um, or, or you have a developer in-house, because there's a lot of people that purchase QuickBase who manage it completely in-house, and that's part of the power of it, is you don't need somebody who knows how to write code to work within QuickBase and create some very effective applications. So to get into what are, to get into, um, to get into um, exactly what, why QuickBase is a superior canvas, I kind of do a top 10 list, and this is from our website um, to go along with that same, uh, to go along with that same vein. So first of all, it's cloud-based like we talked about. You should know a little bit about the cloud now. Um, so it's delivered over the internet, meaning that people all across the world can be accessing in real time the exact same data via the internet. No hardware. Meaning, uh, when you get into you know large software, um, custom software implementations, right? I don't know how many of you have familiarity with that, but you know, years ago, essentially, you would not only have to worry about developing the software, you would also have to have the hardware and purchase hardware to 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 deliver that software. It's very flexible, um, meaning that you can launch a quick base application and you can continually evolve it to your business process as your business evolves. Um, kind of leads to my fourth one is it's business first technology, meaning that um, because um, it, it can be managed without any sort of coding skill set, um, it allows people who really understand the business process um, that you're trying to solve, it allows people like that to actually be hands on in the development of the application. Um, for people like me that, are, that have been kind of in and out of the software world also, um, you'll notice that when you get into hardcore custom software development, um, a lot of the time you're dealing with people that are really good in code, really good technically, but they have no idea what your business process is. They have no idea what you're trying to solve or anything. And you end up with this custom software that's built for robots, essentially. Um, with QuickBase, you could put the power of application development into the hands of the people who actually own the process, the best people, the process experts. Um, so it's technology honed to your business. So no two QuickBase applications. Uh, I would dare to say no two QuickBase applications, um, once they've been in a company for a while, um, are alike because people constantly evolve them to fit their business process. Plays well with other systems because it is a web-based system. Um, you could actually um, integrate it with a variety of other um, with a variety of other systems also. Um, whether if you're talking, and we'll talk about that as well, if you're talking, you know, QuickBooks or you're talking web-based, web marketing tools, etc. cetera, um, there's integrations that either exist or, ca or can be developed to, to fit with the, your other business uh, critical systems. Rapid agile development, meaning that because um, we're not digging deep into code in the most cases, uh, you can launch very powerful applications and solve big problems very, very quickly. 
Um, I've heard, I've seen people. Um, in fact, my first QuickBase application I built in a day, um, and I had some ROI numbers whenever I did it. It was when I was working as a consultant. Um, just forgot them off the top of my hand, but the return was huge on just that one application. Um, custom built, but not custom software. Kind of already hit on that. So it's built to your business, but you're not building ground up coding software that you're going to have to find somebody to try to support. There's plenty of QuickBase developers out there to help support. Strong security model. Um, I'm not going to bore you too much with this, but it really is. Um, you can really customize QuickBase for each type of user that, that you um, deal with. So you can help keep your data secure and have even customers in your QuickBase application uh, messing with and, and looking at different uh, data. And constant improvement, meaning because QuickBase is delivered over the, over the web and it's a PaaS platform as a service, they literally are improving that platform nonstop, you know, um, nonstop. You know, I even go into QuickBase after being in it so long, and I'm like, wow, that's different, that's new, that's great, that's something that's cool and new. Um, so they're constantly improving the platform. So um, just to get into a little bit of what, what people are using it for, um, that's all kind of big, but, you know, what are typically people using it for? So typically people use it for project management, customized to their business, uh, sales automation, um, CRM. Um, that's a funny word, but uh, kind of means something different to everybody. Customer support, so, so IT ticketing tra ticket tracking. Um, is a big one that we see a lot, um, support tickets, time tracking, um, and time tracking leading into billing, purchasing. Um, I had somebody that requested to see something on purchasing, and I'm going to show that today, um, an example of a purchasing application. Um, commissions, property management is, is a big one. Uh, routing, I call it routing. Um, that probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but what I really mean is processes where you need multiple people approving something, whether if it's a piece of work or a document or a purchase or whatever, um, it's really good for those types of processes. Quoting and pricing, um, budgeting, um, compliance, so there's, there's some pretty powerful actually just SOX compliance applications out there. Um, HR management, um, document management. I've actually seen it used as a CMS. If you guys are familiar with content management systems, where people are, um, where you can just kind of go in and add some content um, really quickly and it updates your website. Um, we see them used as CMSs from time to time, especially if people are tracking their products in QuickBase and they want to add a new product and they want it to show up on their website. I've seen it use that, and I've seen very, very strange and bizarre implementations of QuickBase. Um, one in particular <laughs> comes to mind, and I actually didn't develop it. Was one that was running, um, one that was essentially running uh, the lines into a haunted house. You know, they have these haunted house things every single year, and they were using QuickBase to show up on the screen who who was next in line and who was next to go into the site, into the into the uh, haunted house, etc. So just very very bizarre processes. Um, I've you know I've seen it used for. So really, it's just. And all of these are really just kind of custom managed, custom built to a business. So it's not like what is QuickBase? It's a project management system. Well, no, it's not. Um, it can be a project management system. Um, and a lot of the time, what you see is you see people using a little pieces of all of this to kind of fit their business process. So usually, somebody with project management is also tracking sales because it's the front of their pipeline. So. Um, so it's really, really good if you look at a universal business process. Um, it's very, very good. The universal business process, right, is, you know, pipeline, things come through into the pipeline, into sales, into delivery, into collection, essentially. And a lot of the time you have all these different pieces of software that are running each little portions of this and they're having to all talk to each other very, very well. Well, QuickBase can actually handle a good chunk of this. Um, most of the applications that, that I've ever worked on essentially are running somebody's pipeline all the way through to services delivery and then integrating with an accounting system for collection. Um, and I'll show you an example of that today. <clears throat> 